and the greatest. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Vici, and today I'm um, bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. And um, <clears throat> first off, before we get into the video, I want to tell you what the game is, of course. So we're playing TDM on the map uh, Evac, and as you guys know, they changed the score limit on TDM. It was originally 75. Most of you guys know this, but now it is 100. So, um, and I'm using XR2. The reason I'm using that is because I'm trying to get diamond on my ARs. I'm going to try <coughs> <coughs> try to get the Dark Matter camo. I'm sorry I'm coughing so much, but I'm going to try to get the Dark Matter camo. Uh, and this gun was the, uh, I already have the MA Gold, and this is the second highest headshots out of the ARs I have. So, I was like, I'll just start on this. And um, I'm rocking Quick Draw, Rip, High Caliber, and Red Dot. So, or no, no, Quick Draw. High caliber stock red dot. That's what I'm running. Um, and so the series that I kind of want to start is how to improve your like how to get better at Call of Duty. Um, so I guess this will be tips and tricks um, episode one. So one thing that's very uh, helpful, I think, is first of all, you have to have a good class. So the reason I'm using uh, quick draw is because um, well let's start with the red dot we'll start with the red dot so I personally it's all preference but if you like this side of a gun and you can use it well you don't really need to use a red dot sight you would actually be better off not because it does take up a slot on your um, class and if you don't have to use it don't use it um, but <coughs> me personally I don't like the XR2's uh, iron sights I think it's weird and so I just slapped the red dot on it. Um, it also kind of, for me, it, I feel like it increases your zoom. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually true. I just feel like that. Um, and I like it for that purpose as well. Uh, only AR I will not use the red dot on would be the AK or the AN44. I don't even know what it's called. But that gun, I wouldn't use it on that. Uh, however, I think that... Um, the ELO site is way better, so I would use that, but I don't have it unlocked currently, so I'm stuck using the red dot. So then my second attachment is quick draw. The reason I suggest you use quick draw in uh, public matches and just like any game is it's because it's going to give you that split second advantage. So if you're running in and running into a room and the guy that you're about to shoot has grip and you have quick draw, chances are if you hit your shots, you are going to win the gunfight. Why? Because even if he hits his shots, you're going to win the gunfight because you had that faster aim down the sights time and than he did. And that's why I use quick draw. I think it's the key to winning some gunfights. And you'll notice that if you try it out, you'll notice that you win more gunfights. Now, I guess the downside of using quick draw is you don't really... Uh, like get control it's not like grip like grips gonna really help your accuracy whereas quick draw it's like it'll somewhat help it but you gotta control the recoil yourself um, for me that's not an issue I made a video about controlling recoil um, a couple <coughs> months ago or a couple weeks ago and um, it was like how to aim and it was a tip video and if you guys want you can check that out I'll put that on the screen right now um, but like I said you gotta learn how to control your side if you really or you control your uh, recoil if you want to use quick draw. So definitely work on that. I use stock. Um, that's another attachment I have on this weapon. Reason I use stock. Stock. If you guys, you should know this. Like I should. I'm just like saying it for the people for the slight chance that you might not know it. Stock allows you to walk while aim down sights a little bit faster. Um, your mobility. It's basically I go walking speed. So I'm walking right now and now I'm sprinting, but I'm walking right. I can't even get a clip where I'm walking, but I, while I'm aiming down the sights, my my movement is the same speed as it would be if I was just walking, not sprinting. Now, that that is a big key in winning gunfights, a major key. Um, it's a it's a very major key to winning gunfights. The reason I say that is because it's gonna allow you to strafe back and forth, and it's we all know it's harder to hit a moving target. So strafing back and forth in a gunfight is also going to help you win. Um, <coughs> and the other attachment I have on it is uh, just using it to get my challenges. But it's high caliber. The reason I use high caliber is because um, 
I'm trying to get the headshot kills, obviously, to get diamond. But um, if I wasn't using high caliber, I would suggest uh, long barrel, probably. Long barrel would be a very good attachment. Also FMJ, but um, either one of those. Basically, from there, it's all preference uh, for assault rifles. Now, I want to get into a little more technical stuff, and I should break it down in another video, and I probably will. But to, in order to get kills and to get better at Call of Duty in general, you need to know how to use your minimap, even when there's not a UAV up. So a lot of people, I feel like, play Call of Duty, especially casual players. Um, they play Call of Duty, and they only look at the UAV, or they only look at their radar at the top left when someone calls an UAV, when they, you know, are able to see the enemy on the minimap for a brief period of time. Um, you should constantly be scanning that. Now, first of all, I'm not saying that for the obvious reasons that, you know, if an enemy shoots, you're going to be able, like, to see him on the minimap. We obviously know that, and you're going to notice that on your minimap. Like, a casual player will know that. So, but what I mean is map awareness. So, if I'm about to kill someone right here, right? And I, I kill the guy. Let's say my teammate dies. I kill him. And when I notice my teammate spawned. Look, he spawned behind me. So I know that the enemy is spawning on the side I was just facing. They're spawning on my opposite side. Knowing where spawns are is part of map awareness. And it's going to help you get more kills and help you stay alive longer. So if I know that now my teammate just spawned behind me, they're spawning on either middle map. It most likely is middle map. <coughs> Because my team is also on their side of the map. Now, none of my teammates are on the mini-map, as you can see. And I know they're spawning right in front of this door. So, I'm just going to walk around it pre-fire and try to get those kills. Looking at your mini-map, it's not all about looking at enemies. you got to focus on your teammates and notice what they're doing. If, you, if your teammate's watching a door... I wouldn't say this for casual, but I guess it can help you in the long run. Um, if your teammate... Like, uh, he just died... Um, but if your teammate, first of all, check out this clip. I'm sorry. Th this is nasty. I went off and I still go off. But if your teammate's looking at the same direction you're looking at, don't look at a different direction and try to like watch his back or, you know, you got to change it up. You can't just constantly be looking in the same direction. That's going to get your ass killed. And you don't want that. You want to stay alive, right? Don't you guys want to get a high KD? Don't you guys want to be considered like the best in the lobby? So if you guys do want that to happen, you need to be aware of your map. Your map awareness is so critical in becoming a good and solid Call of Duty player. Um, so yeah, guys, that's bringing this video to an end. I just gave you a few tips and tricks, um, and I'll let you know why I use certain attachments. Uh, but I guess I can break down mini-map stuff in private match probably more so than uh, I can. <coughs> I can in... Uh, you know, a public match gameplay. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. Follow my Twitch and Twitter. Those links are down below. Also, um, if you want to, and if you're interested in a YouTube partnership, click my Maker Studios referral link down below. That helps me out and it'll help you out. And you can apply and see if you have a chance of being a YouTube partner through their studios. I am, and they are terrific, very nice people. And um, if you have the credentials, they'll accept you. So definitely try that out. And yeah, it has been your boy Vici, and I am out. Peace.